Yes, the VX110 repair, uh, wideband and no audio fault. Recommended test equipment, definitely, yes, 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 and yes, decent soldiering on. Uh, dismantle instructions, tank copper, tank top, to the area, pull off. Flip it over, take the battery out, no problem at all. Remove, remove that, don't lose it. Leave that screw there and do the rest. The other screws are taken out, just speed things up. There we go, just pull it. Pull it. Okay, the mod. Zoom in. Just gives me a mess this on the remote. There's a chip there for a resistor. It needs to be removed and placed there. You do need the microscope for this, it's very hard to do. Not easy thing to see. Uh, somebody had already been at this before, mate. So the the mess isn't mine. I've just tidied it up. Um, the other fault with this unit was there was no audio. Um, so to get to the board, don't yank at it. Take your time. Remove this screw. Not to lose it. The screw there took out already. Screw there I've took out. Remove this screw as well. Now I've took the other screws out. I'll just get rid of that. Uh, just speed things up a little bit. One more there I'm took out. Remember. Do by one hand. <laughs> Take that. Now you find that the board's quite tight and won't come out. Don't whatever you do, like somebody looks like somebody's tried to do, is undo this. Simple enough. There is a screw just there, which attaches. You can see that where it's going bit. There. The antenna to the board. It's a long screw, don't lose it. Simply remove. Sorry about the fingers. And the board. Now, simply lift out. Right. Now, the audio chip. The audio chip is this chip here, and it is an NJM2070. Very hard to resolder without the use of the microscope, or at worst, some kind of magnifying lensed glasses. Uh, anyway, replace that chip, um, put it back together, and all seems to work now. Um, I'm going to put it back together, but obviously I'm not going to show you putting it back together because I, I found it won't allow you to pause. That's why my videos are a bit jerky and a bit messy, to be honest. Uh, inside the case, you've got the front case when you remove it, the speakers there. The connection to it is via two little springy terminals. Um, 
But once I've done that, I'll put it all back together and it seems to work fine now. Um, this cap here is an inline cap, so you could check that first really, um, prior to changing the amp, uh, the audio amp. Um, but yeah, sorted, done. And as I say, whatever you do, don't forget to put that piece back, otherwise it ain't going to work. Um, anyway, that's the Yatsi VX101 and the similar models to it, I believe. Um, simple fix really of the wideband mod and this one did have an audio problem as well. Um, and so get the right equipment. Um, life's a little bit easier. Excuse the mess of my desk, but it's just the way I work. 70 stories.